as we continue working on this animation project, we will import other object inside. But in my workflow, I like to begin with the um, first simple necessary imports, maybe apply small texture so we can preview. And as we progress, I like to add more and more details. And mostly due to the complexity, the more complex scenery, the harder, the longer it's take render previews and other things. So I want to minimize, I want to optimize necessary first things, like maybe even create a general layout creating animation path and after we'll start adding details when I know my animations is good and other things. So right here example we have it um, our terrain. Let's go just zoom out quite a bit from this and you notice this is the um, basic terrain and we have it on a middle. If you open Terragen bring just the new scenery this is what you're getting. You're getting your Terragen preview and you have it on a middle kind of flat area and this is created by simple um, shape. If we look on our terrain, right here we have it, our terrain selected, we have it overall terrain, we have a simple shape, which is kind of flattened out. I want to utilize this one, so I want to use it, but we're going to increase size. Let's go put it maybe um, 50,000 by 50,000 size. And again, we can go ahead and zoom a little bit more out on this case. So just preview. And you can see we just create quite a bit large area so we can import our terrain. Again, this is part of the example workflow. If we need to integrate it, I will show you also how we can integrate our piece that we import with our scenery. Um, and just let's leave it over all, all mountains on the back. It just will add nice details if we're going to render. Okay, so right here we have it our place and we're going to add now the high field load image so we need a high field shader i'm going to use it and you can see we have different options a lot of generate dm multiple we'll just go simple first one load file okay so we'll go just navigate and right here you can see some maps generated as sturgeon we also have it as the tff so we can switch right here you can preview have it those same maps um i just generate both of them you can create multiple outputs so you don't need um generate over and over you can create multiple outputs and just connect them together but right here we're going to use for this as turgeon high field select high field output and let's click ok and right here you can notice the difference so we have we just imported this map Okay, let's even zoom out more. Okay, there you go. So you can see right here we have it, our map imported. Um, a little bit soft edges, it's due to our blending. So we have it, if we remove our border blending, we'll have it quite a bit sharp edges. And with the border blending, we can create nice and integration with the surrounding environment. Or with another pieces so again let's go ahead and just put it a little bit so just don't want it too sharp on those edges but i want to keep it kind of shape um so i know ways my maps will be overlay the color maps mostly okay so we'll go on top right here let's it's finished render again we can always increase and we can utilize as well as new our ray tracer preview okay, and we can go just enable some of those properties so we can preview right this is going okay, let me go switch to high details okay and then we'll switch to this real temporary and you can see right here we have quite a bit high detail our terrain it's a large size so it's very good we can create right here model probably just going to follow the river and waterbed okay let me go disable all of those options as we long work along with this okay the next step what i want to do is apply some maps um color maps that we created as well in world machine so overall just um, very rough layout without adding maybe some more details to that.